everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer, and a very warm welcome to my channel. Um, I hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, <clears throat> it's a Saturday, and I hope you're all having as lovely a weekend as I am. So um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to kit down um, Spring Lamb from Diamond Art Studio. It's been a little while since I've done a kitting down video, so I thought, yeah, let's, uh, let's do one today. Um, this is my box that I keep my drills in, um, my spares in. Um, I've got one box for squares and one box for rounds. Um, so this is my squares box. It's kind of very similar to what a lot of people have. So it's split into different compartments and um, yeah, the dividers came with this box. So it's, um, this has already been pre-made and I just had to assemble it. Um, what I'll do is I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. So, and then I've made these little cards uh, by cutting down um, some um, just some thin um, card, and then we have um, the bags. Um, these are quite good quality bags. Again, I bought these so um, on Amazon. <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll just link them as well. So these are really quite thick bags. Um, so yeah, they were they were actually pretty cheap for, for what they are. Okay, so um, I have checked. There are a few that I need to make up new bags for. Um, I just make up bags as I go along. Uh, once you know, if, if that number appears, I don't uh, I don't have the full set of numbers. <laughs> I'm not that organised. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I've got a list here that I took off of the the uh, the key, the schematic, if you like, and um, you know for what number the DMC is because my pots don't have the DMC number on them. So number one, first of all, is one five four. Which I do have. So I'm kind of taking my life into my hands here by uh, not having a... Oh, my light the side's flickering. Hmm, wonder... Might need a replacement. Uh, number two is 159. Yes, as I was saying, I'm taking my life into my hands here because I'm not using a tray. But it's just pouring from these pots into these bags, into the bags. The bags are quite big, so I'm not concerned about spilling anything. Right, and number three is 161. So all good so far. So my rounds are, in, I don't have this system yet for my rounds. Um, I, I'm going to be making up cards for it. It just, it takes quite a long time. Um, just finding the time to do it really. Uh, four is 413. Is quite a common one, so I should have that one. Yep, quite a lot of it. Four one three actually. So I really, really enjoyed doing spring lamb. I did it for um, Diamond Painting Fanatics Spring Flings and Easter Things event. So what I will do is I'll, I'll link the canvas down below. Um, you know, I'll hash, hashtag our event and uh, number five is 469. Um, okay, this is the first one I don't have. And uh, and yeah, but uh, by the time this goes up, the event is kind of like on, on its last few weeks. So, yep. Did I say number five was 469? So, labels a label for the card and a label for the bag six nine I do like watching kitting up and down videos um, well you know kitting down videos um, I like to see what other people do in terms of their storage um, Yeah, 
that can help give you ideas about what to do. <laughs> okay, 500. We don't have 500 either. So hopefully I've cut enough... Um, Hopefully I have, I have cut enough. I'm oh, sorry, I've got distracted by my cat. She's she's uh, she's sitting on my husband's computer bag. Um, what is it with cats? They they really like to sit on things and in things. I need to try that thing with her. If you put a circle on the floor, a hula hoop or something on the floor, see if she'll go and sit inside it. Oh, the trouble is I need to find a hula hoop. We used to have tons when the um, kids were wee, but they've all gone now. <laughs> the hula hoops, that is, not the kids. Well, the kids have gone as well, actually. Two out of the three of them are away. Um, I still have my youngest at home. Um, but probably not for much longer. Probably only for another year. And then he'll be off. Oh gosh, I wonder what's happening with this light. Whoa, I think that's it. I think it's given up the ghost. I'll switch it off. And uh, oh, yeah, I think you can still see okay. It's a wee bit, there's a bit more. Um, uh, uh, shade coming over though. Let's see, number seven was 517. What I might do is I might go and put, put the big light on. Put the big light on. <laughs> um, yeah. I think that light flickering and going off has completely made me lose my train of thought for everything that I was talking about. Okay, I'm going to go and put the big light on and uh, I'll be back in a wee second. I won't bother pausing the video because I'm just about 10 steps away from the switch. Okay, I think that's going to be a little bit better, but I think I now need to treat myself to a new, a new lamp, a new craft lamp. So, yes, we'll see. We'll see if we can get it working. Uh, oh, 600. I've got 600. Right. Since I got up, I've kind of off centered myself from my chair. That's a bit better. Um, we'll see what this looks like after I've, <laughs> after I've uh, finished filming. Uh, in terms of shadow, that 647 is number 9. I don't have that one. I don't know why I'm putting a label on the card. <laughs> I mean, I could just write it on the card. I don't know. <laughs> I just decided to stick labels on. All right, six, four, seven. So, yes, my cat's gone now. <laughs> Seven, seven, of which I don't think I've got either. Um, no. Um, yeah, the cat, the cat's gone. She'll, uh, she's probably wanting something to eat, so she'll have gone down the stairs to pester somebody. So yes, uh, yeah, I think I was saying. Um, so yeah, my youngest is still at home with us. Um, but uh, yeah, he he'll be away soon. He's um he's sixteen. He's uh, but he's he's actually going to be seventeen uh, in in a few months' time. Uh, so 
and all three. He, at the moment, he is doing his um, hires. Um, so that's sort of like the sort of like senior exams and uh, senior school exams in Scotland. So I know in England they have um, A levels. So it's like A levels, um, except they normally choose more subjects and um, they do them over one year. Whereas in like A, A levels they choose fewer subjects and they do them over two years. So the the um, the depth that they go into in their subjects and hires is, is a bit less. So for that reason, um, university courses or college courses in uh, Scotland tend to last a little bit longer than in England. So I think if if you went to an English university to do a degree, it would call it would take something like three years, whereas in Scotland it's four years. So I mean, it all balances out. Thirteen is seven to eight. So anyway, so he's in fifth year at school, which is like the second last year of school, and he's doing his hires. Um, now, he's already got an offer for a course, the course that he wants to do. So um, he's really into computers and computer games, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, and he wants to go into computer game design. So he's been accepted for a computer games design course at Aberté, University of Aberté, which is in Dundee. And um, to start in September 23, September 2023, because like he doesn't want to go up to uni when he's still 17, like a year younger. He wants to go up when he's 18, which is sensible, really. Which is sensible, really, because, you know, they. They use their student cards for getting into everything and it'd be a shame, you know, if he was, wouldn't, wasn't allowed in places because he was 17 and no 18. And um, also, like, I don't think he would want to go up and be the youngest there, so. But anyway, he's, 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 bright, he's a bright lad. He's, he's very academic. He's the most academic out of my kids, you know. Um, not that my other kids aren't, uh, I'm not proud of them. It's just, you know, they, they're all... Um, they're all different in their own way. It's just that um, my youngest, he's he's kind of the most academic. Um, it's 14. But uh, 819. But yeah, he d even though he's, he's uh, bright and good at school, uh, he doesn't want to go back for six years. He hates school. He's always hated school. When he was wee, he was like, you know, no, didn't like it, hated it. Uh, you know, that's just, you know, just not for everybody. My daughter, on the other hand, quite enjoyed school. Um, but he has got no interest in it. He'd rather, like, take a year out and um, work. Or he also wants to work on a game. He's, he's been developing a game, his own a, a computer game. Um, for the last few two or three years, so he's wanting to concentrate on doing that and and uh, you know going out and working for a bit. So I'm going to see if I can get him into my work. We'll see. But um, it all depends on whether or not he gets his grades. So he, at the moment he's sitting his exams just now. He's got one left to do. When he's got left to do is computing, funnily enough. Um, he needs um, two A's and and two B's in his in his exams. He should get them. Uh, if he doesn't get them, I've told him that he's going back to school for six year. Uh, if he does get them and he gets the formal offer of the, you know the, the, the offer of the course is, is uh, finalised, then he can not go back to school. So. Needless to say, he is working really hard. He's working his socks off to um, to get the um, to get the grades he needs. So, so then, in, yeah, in a year's time, he'll year or so's time, he'll go off up to Aberdeen, and then that'll be it. All three of them will be away. 
so if you don't know um i've well, if you've, <laughs> you've probably worked out i've got three children um two of the two are in their 20s um uh, eight three four so my oldest son he lives in china he teaches english over there to um like kindergarten age children so sort of like sort of like three to five year olds three to six year olds he moved out there um just before the pandemic hit so of course you know it all started over in china so i was so worried um yeah the lockdowns that they've had to suffer over there it's been a lot worse than the lockdowns that we've had to suffer here um they weren't allowed out of their apartment um they were only allowed out to get food 891 is the next one and uh, only on designated days at designated times and if you were caught outside when you it wasn't your time to be outside um you could get arrested so yeah it was it's very strict very strict but he loves it over there you know he loves the culture he loves the people um loves the food so so yeah don't know when he'll come back um obviously i would like him to i would like him to come back eventually um he has got no plans at the moment but we'll see we'll see And then there's my daughter, she's in the middle. She graduated, um, uh, she, she went to uni. Um, uh, she graduated uh, last year, two years ago. Not summer there, but the summer before. It's almost two years now. Um, so she is a physiotherapist <coughs> and she works down in London. <coughs> but, um, uh, she, she came up to visit not that long ago and uh, she's talking about quitting um, not quitting physiotherapy but quitting the job she's in at the moment she doesn't like London um, she's not a city girl she's a country girl um, at heart she loves like wide open spaces she loves the coast she's right into her water sports um, she loves like hill walking and all that kind of business so yeah 22 is 935. Um, so, she, but yeah, she hates the city. I think the city is one of these things you either, you either like it or you don't like it. It's, it's, and she's decided and discovered that she doesn't like the city. And But, you know, when, I, when she said she was going to, you know, quit her job and move move on i thought oh i'm sure maybe fine you know she's not liking london i thought she'll maybe look for some a job somewhere else no wait to hear this right so her boyfriend who i think she's known for all of five minutes but <laughs> actually it's it's not it's she um they met last summer um but yeah well he lives in a van it's very popular these days, isn't it? Living in a van. Um, I mean, it's all kitted out. I mean, I've seen photos. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's it's not it's, it's not like they're, they're in the back of a you know a, a white van. Well, they are in the back of a white van, but like an empty van. But it's, it's all done up. You know, there's this cooking area, sleeping area. Um, so it's like a little caravanette, really. Yeah, a little caravan um but yeah he lives in a van now um he is a water sports instructor so you can you know so you know windsurfing paddle boarding surfing sailing all that kind of stuff um what have i got to now 961 um so his work's quite seasonal so they're talking when his work's finished, Amy's going to quit her work. And then, uh, so my daughter's Amy, by the way. Ugh, I suppose 
you know, well, I've been around long enough, you know, I, I, I hate to call them my, my oldest and my youngest. Like, well, let's put the names out there, you know, it's... Uh, um, so my oldest is Daniel and my youngest is Ryan and then um, Amy, Amy's my daughter in the middle. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, 3023, I think I need that one. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, she's talking about, um, she's talking about uh, stopping in uh, right about November time. I'm going and live in the van with her boyfriend and uh, God, I really hope my mum's not listening to watching this because she's going to have a fit because I don't think she is, she doesn't know about this channel um, because my mum doesn't know this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going down to Spain. Um, he's got family down there that run a um, dog rescue um, sanctuary or a dog sanctuary down there in the south of Spain and they're talking about going down there and, and so maybe touring around a little bit in the van or you know other bits of Europe as well and that's very nice you know I wonder how she's going to pay for it and then when that's finished she's going to come back and you know you know locum or, or you know sort of like get somewhere rural and I'm like oh god <laughs> Going and live in a van, eh? Granny, as I said, would have a heart attack. She would have a fit. So, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, like I've got one, one in China. And I have one that's wanting to go, go and live in a van. Um, is it good that they want to do that or is it bad that they want to do that? Have I raised, you know, strong, independent young people, you know, that feel confident enough to go and go and explore and live in the world like that? I think so. You know... You know, part of me thinks, you know, that would be nice if they lived around the corner. Um, but also part of me thinks, you know, like, it's good that they want to go out and live life and experience life, you know. As I said, they're, in their, they're both in their 20s. It's the time to do it, you know. It really is the time to do it. Because you never know, you get the other side of 30 and you probably regret a lot of things. And you'd be like, oh, why didn't I do X, Y and Z eh, when I was in my 20s? That's quite a lot of this one left, 3363. And there's some with just a few bits left and some with lots. Right, 29, 3364. I need to make this one up as well. There were 37 colours in this kit. And a lot of them are green. <laughs> I really did enjoy doing this um, spring lamb. I really enjoyed it a lot. I need to get another Vicky Davison out and kitty and kitted up. 3705. Number 30. I don't think I've got this one either. Three seven four six. Was it three seven oh five? Three six three six three seven oh six. No, no three seven oh five.
Right, we're kind of on the home straight now. Uh, it was number 30, so we're now on to number 31. And 31 is 3727. 3726 I've got, but no 3727. It's got a lot of colours in this kit that I didn't have. I feel like we're probably on, we're into double figures. Three. I don't have that one either. Gone all quiet now. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry about that. That was a big bang. Right, next one is three seven five zero thirty three. I have that one. I think I might need to redistribute redistribute some of my wee bags here because they're getting a bit squashed together. That's 3750. 3752 I know I don't have because the one after 3750 was just 3755. Well, I've got a few more of these bits of cards already cut. I don't think though the reference from what I can see on my bit of paper here I think the rest of them I've got bags already for 34 3752 so I was quite keen to cut this down because this is kitted up in my big 60 bottle container so it'd be nice to free up um, this large container here this uh, large uh, case of um, pots. Uh, 3822 is next. For 36. Oh gosh. Move these down. There we go. Also, I've got a lot of 3860 as well. There's some colours I've got really have got a lot of. And it's not kind of the colours you would normally think of, but maybe it's it's a reflection of the type of diamond paintings that I do. <laughs> got a lot of 939. <laughs> And this looks like it's 3865 and it is, um, which I will have a lot of. Actually, don't have as much 3865 as I thought I would. Anyway, um, that's it. All done. And I've got a lovely, I've got a lovely empty case here now. I'll just check and make sure that it is empty and there's nothing in any of these other pots. I don't think there will be. Um, let's 
37 was the last one, wasn't it? Nope, it's all done. Oh, yes. Um, thank you very much for watching the Kitting Down video. Um, I will link uh, everything that I've kind of got here and used um, below if you're interested. So most of it came from Amazon. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, th thanks for listening to me talk about my kids for a little bit. Uh, even though they're not really kids, they're grown men, men and women. Well, one's almost a grown man. Yeah, 16. I don't know, 16 going on six, he's got right into Lego re again recently. And the funny thing is, like about five years ago, I got rid of all his Lego stuff because he didn't want it anymore because that was for kids. But just in the last couple of months, he's been like wanting all his Lego stuff again. <sighs> kids, that's all I can say, kids. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you have liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you would like to subscribe and you haven't done so already, um, please uh, could you hit the subscribe button as well. It would be very, very much appreciated. And I'd love to have you here with me on my channel. So, um, yeah, have a good rest of your weekend. And I shall see you all in my next video. Cheerio, guys.